his mysteriously scarred hands unleash an explosive campaign of retribution to settle the score with the men who took everything from him. This movie will go down as one of the best action films maybe of all time, definitely of 2024. Let's get into some of the standouts. This story was so great because it starts out, you're not 100% sure what he's trying to do, who he's looking for, and he takes the, the audience on a journey with him piece by piece by piece. And as the layers start forming, you see a bigger picture exactly why he's doing what he's doing that is very satisfying and you're rooting for him even more. The story also uses mythology. Hanuman, the Monkey King. We've had so many movies about this character, but I didn't know about humble beginnings and how mistreated he was by the other gods. He's used as a parallel to Dev Patel's character and how he finds himself through all of these uh, mythologies told to him by his mother at a very young age. When I say revenge story, people often go to John Wick. You cannot compare this to John Wick. John Wick is already the boogeyman. He's Baba Yaga. He's coming from a place where he's not sure who he is. Then with the mythology, finding himself, finding the strength within himself. With that said, another standout is the action. It was superb, engaging, violent, realistic. Given the character set of skills in the fighting ring, we get the MMA mixture. Do whatever you have to do to survive. If you are not a fan of shaky cam, you're probably going to catch a headache. It wasn't Anything that I was concerned about, to me, it makes it look more realistic, like a cameraman's really in the fight with them. But if that's something that you're not in love with, then you're going to have a hard time through the action. Dev Patel is a standout just himself. First time directing, he wrote this, acted in this, and it was produced by Jordan Peele. Need I say more? It's like his first time directing, and we get this. It did actually kind of remind me of Jordan Peele's directing debut with Get Out. You're not sure what you're gonna get. It's uh, completely different than what you expect from him, you know, comedy. And Dev Patel, you know, he has been in action movies, but I didn't think that he was going to give us such a exciting, revealing, engaging action movie. This was great. Over his years of acting, he took all of that knowledge just to make this film. There's even a trans community who worship or pray to Shiva. The half man, half woman God it makes total sense. This community also is instrumental in helping uh, Dev's character find himself. As he's feeling at his low point, they're the ones who pick him back up and remind him of who he is. If I had to give a letdown, the only thing would be, I'm not sure how he's surviving all of this. Again, he's not John Wick, you know, but because he's been fighting for so long in the ring. I can see how he can have the stamina and all of that, but he was even training of fighting when he was with the trans community. He just survives a lot from beginning to end. Guys, before I give my rating, I just wanna thank all my subscribers. If you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content that I'm putting out. I gave this movie a 4.5 out of five. The fact that a brand new director can give us something this good mind-blowing the action scenes minus the shaking cam the action scenes were realistic he's biting people's noses off like like if you, someone's trying to kill you everything's off the table the mythology being tied into it just made the story bigger to allow him to have the strength to carry out the goal different communities have their different fights and that was well explained throughout the film as an underlying layer of the revenge story. Very well done. As always, I have more movies here. Guys, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.